Mm. So when you were playing with Farrow, you know, you pretty much got with him, you know, not long after Train died, and mm. you know, that's you know, in terms of the free music, that was mm. kind of one that's, in, t in a sense, as yeah, pinnacle. Yeah, of, yeah. What John was know. doing was still flying in the sky. Right. Yeah, was sure. still in the atmosphere. Sure, sure. Right. The echoes were still there, still fresh. A few mm. years. Yeah, it's definitely there. Mm. See. And so that standard of ultimate, uh, let's say, creative playing, in a manner of speaking, uh, was, was a challenge to everybody. See. And I think going back uh, a step to, uh, let's say, uh, my, my Pharaoh Sanders, Saunders, uh, I guess you might say, uh, <clears throat> practice, practicing with him. Mm. Um, th the question is, <clears throat> Are you in access? Do you have access to your deepest? <clears throat> what does it take for you to get to your deepest playing? Is it a lot of practicing, or is it like you're having a confrontation with someone like Pharaoh or Coltrane? They say, no, man, play. Now, boom, do it. No. Don't think about it. Just do it now. Mm -hmm. Got to be done now, man. Now, now's the time to do it. There's no other time in how to do it. I mean, they didn't say that, but that was the, the urgency of the moment. Get it out. And sometimes when you're, you're at your, your worst, and you say, I don't have anything to get out, man, especially after what I just heard, you, you, might, you might reach another level when you open to it. Yeah. You can open beyond what you open to. See, that's the idea. We're talking now about managing consciousness, not just your musical, let's say, vocabulary or your, your musical memory. So it's not about that. This is beyond that. Because what you want to do is go beyond what you know. Go beyond what you've heard. Uh, not just keep playing the same old thing that you've heard because you know it so well. Because your memory is like caught in it. You have no choice but to play what you've known. What happens when you don't know? And what's left is the universe. That's a good question. That's it. The universe is left. Uh, that's a big piece of cake. <laughs>